Dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da da. What will he cook? What will he cook? Oh my God, Beef Wellington! What the f are you doing? You're going to f it up. You are going to f it up. You are going to f it up. Ooh. It's another Christmas special. Today, I'm going to make Beef Wellington. This is Gordon Ramsay's recipe. That should be really easy. Not only am I making Beef Wellington, I'm gonna make my own puff pastry. Oh, oh. Let's get started on the puff pastry. I need to sift the flour and salt into a large bowl. I don't have a sifter, so... Oh, God! That one was wet. Apparently, you can use a whisk. I need two cups of flour and one teaspoon of sea salt. King Arthur flour. I'm not gonna do that voice every time because... Why would I? I'm already getting flour everywhere. Two cups of flour. One, two, teaspoon of sea salt. What the f***? Oh, f*** me. Oh. Who else cooks on their f***ing knees? Still looks lumpy as f good enough. My flour and salt are sifted. Now I need eight ounces of butter at room temperature, but not soft. Okay, f you. Roughly break the butter in small chunks, add them to the bowl, and rub them in loosely. You need to see bits of butter. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, I haven't washed my hands in three days. I'm already f this up. Why does love always feel like a butter field? A butter field. I can't believe I need another f stick of butter. All I want for Christmas is a heart attack. Oh my god. There's no planet on which that was the correct way to do it. Rub them in loosely. You need to see bits of butter. <laughs> you have to be f***ing Ray Charles not to see this f***ing butter. Uh. Next, I need to make a well in the bowl and pour in about half a cup of water. Mixing until you have a firm dough, adding extra water if needed. Oh my knees! That's what she said. <laughs> oh yeah, good. All over the f***ing floor. Shit. So dry. Oh, I need more water. Oh, that's an ice cube. So much flour. Oh, damn it! Come on, baby K. We're getting a little dough. Oh, my arm! Oh, f***. Ah, cover with cling film and leave to rest for 20 minutes in the fridge. Ah, when I come back, I'm gonna roll this out. My pastry needs to be taken out right now. All right, turn out onto a lightly floured board. Knead gently and form it to a smooth rectangle. Oh, f Looks like a smooth rectangle. Roll the dough in one direction until three times the width. Look at this. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> That's about three times the width. Fold the top third down to the center, and the bottom third up and over that. Top third down to the center, bottom third over that. Give the dough a quarter turn to the left or the right. Roll out again to three times the length. Three times the length? I don't have enough room. This is not working. Oh, it's sticking to the counter. Oh, f Oh, sh Mother God, it's not lengthening. Ah! <laughs> That's about three times the length. Fold as before, cover with cling film, chill for at least 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> there's my... Oh, sh Homemade puff pastry. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge, then I'm gonna wrap this around my beef wellingtons. Believe it or not, I haven't even started on the main this yet. First part of the beef wellington is actually the mushroom paste that goes around it. Mushroom duxe, duxe. Let's get started. I need one pound of permini mushrooms coarsely chopped. <laughs> Mushrooms really smell like death. Um, let me just take a little bit at a time. Oh, this will take about three f decades. Uh, uh. Oh, it smells like a dead f body in here. It's so hot. Oh, that was really close. One pound of mushrooms and one f index finger. That's good. Oh, God, there's mushroom juice on the counter. Okay, add mushrooms to a food processor and process until completely smooth. The consistency is similar to wet hummus. Oh my god. Here's the problem. I don't have a food processor. I do have a blender. Ba, ba, ba. Oh sh**. Not even enough room. I'm just gonna start with a little bit at a time. This is not working at all. It's too much in here. Oh, I need a food processor. I need a food processor! Nope. Nope. This is not gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna go get a food processor! Ha <laughs> ha! expensive mistake. Look at this, honey. What the f***? Nice! Now, add mushrooms to a food processor. Ah. Put too many in here. Oh, f*** this. Alright. Oh, yeah! Pretty thick paste. Add the rest in. Still so many mushroom chunks. What a cheap piece of s***. Let's taste it. 
<laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, I'm burping up mushroom. In a pan over medium heat, add the mushroom paste, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Oh. Hate to miss out on any of this. Oh sh it's burning. Uh, I need a tablespoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I can't measure this. Uh sure. Spread the mixture evenly over the surface. Cook on medium low heat until the moisture in the paste has reduced and the mixture has the consistency of a spreadable pate. Guess I just leave it like that. I have no idea. Oh my god, it's bubbling. Oh f stop. Stop. This looks like a smashed turd. Nice, let me just get some of my dry skin on this thing. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. This has gotta be a fire hazard. Let me just <laughs> This is done. Move from heat, let cool. Ah, f My mushroom duxelles are cooling. Next, I have to make a herb crap, excuse me, <laughs> that goes around this beef. I haven't even started the beef yet. Oh my god, goodbye. Time to make the herb crap. First of all, check out my mushroom duxelles. If that doesn't look like pure sh I don't know what does. In a large bowl, whisk together flour, eggs, sugar, salt, and chives. Chives, chives, chives. Half cup of flour. Okay. Two eggs. Ah. Teaspoon of sugar. Half teaspoon of salt. <laughs> Two tablespoons chives. Oh, I'm just gonna cut these. Who knows where these scissors have been? I don't. That's good enough. Whisk this together. Oh, are you f kidding me? Oh, sh oh, it's all in the whisk. Oh. Now I need to whisk in milk, water, and melted butter. I need half cup of whole milk and a quarter cup of water. Butter? One tablespoon of melted butter. Whisk until smooth and emulsified. Why does there need to be a crep around the f***ing beef? That's the technique. My forearm hasn't gotten this much of a workout since last night. Good enough. Heat a crep pan over medium heat. Add remaining three tablespoons of butter and add one quarter cup of the batter. Rotate pan. Oh my god. This is a lot of work. For beef! For beef! I'm like plugging my computer in right by a hot f stove. Keep my crepe pan. Ow, my pan is hot. I just touched it. Add remain three tablespoons of butter. Quarter cup of the batter. Oh sh! Oh no! God, it's swimming in butter. It's not enough batter. That's not enough batter. Quarter cup is a f lie. F you, Gordon Ramsay. Oh god, it's sticking. F nope, nope, nope. Piece of sh. I'm gonna try this again. Oh f Oh sh. It's like a burned piece of crap. Just get off, please. That's what she said. I need a f jackhammer. Off, off, off. I'm like Michelangelo in here. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is about done. Nice, nice. Burn. I'm pamming this. There we go. This looks great. Ooh. I'm about to throw in this other crap. Oh, this is a big one. Good. Now it's time to prep my steaks and then sear them. Oh, you're not ready for this. It's time to prepare these steaks. What the f is that? Are you ready for this? That's oh beef tenderloin. I'm gonna cut it into three fillets. Oh my god. Look at that! To make steaks, half filet mignon, dry with paper towels, season generously with salt and black pepper. I'm gonna forget the other side. Hello from the other show. Black pepper. Okay, these are sufficiently seasoned. Heat a skillet over medium high heat and add olive oil. When the oil begins to smoke, add the filet mignon, brown from one to two minutes on all sides. Okay, the pan is getting hot. I need two tablespoons of olive oil. That's smoking. Oh God, here we go. Ooh, steak is cooking. Oil is getting everywhere. Wow, it's so smoky in here. First one's done. Move from heat and place on cutting board to cool. Using my $400 timer. No smoke detectors in this kitchen, so that's good. Damn, oil is smoking, all right. Last one. This pan is oh, a lot of smoke. A lot of smoke. Holy sh! This room is about 10% oxygen. <laughs> we are done. Oh, you can't tell. I am walking through a forest fire. Sh Can I just tell you? Look at these steaks. Come on, like, give me some credit. It's time to roll these up. Time to roll my beef wellingtons. But first, I need to cover the fillets in Dijon mustard. Let the pump. Seriously. Whoa, that's a lot. Whoa. Oh, Gone a little overboard with the Dijon. Ta-da! Oh, I just got mustard inside my nose. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's burning! Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh, oh god. Ooh. Okay, on a cutting board, lay out a long piece of plastic wrap. In the middle of the wrap, lay out a crepe. Spread the mushroom to close over the crest. Looks so foul. Oh no! Okay. Lay out prosciutto on top of the du Prosciutto di Parma! This was nine dollars. As if you need any more meat on this thing. Ooh, it smells like feet. Great. Place filet in the center of the crepe and gently wrap the crepe around the filet. Oh, these are really big pieces. Oh no. Crepes aren't big enough. Oh sh ah, ah. That looks horrible. Trim off any excess. Go f yourself. Use the plastic wrap to tightly wrap the steak. 
mushroom. Absolutely not! Second crepe. Mushroom. In there. Oh, f this. Prosciutto. Nah. Alright. My second filet in here. Oh, plastic wrap! I forgot to put plastic wrap down. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Here we go! Oh, nice! Just wrap that up. Pretend like that never happened. One more. Oh, here's my last crepe. F great. Ah, it's like Jurassic Park. I need my prosciutto. <laughs> Check this out. Tell me how I'm gonna wrap that f up. Ah, oh, Oh, that looks good. What's next? So my Ellington are rolled up in a crap. I have to roll out my puff pastry and wrap these things again. Okay, for some reason, my computer just decided to stop recording while I was rolling out my pastry dough and prepping these beef wellingtons. So I rolled out my puff pastry, set out the wellingtons, and I split them up so they each had a little pocket of puff pastry. And now I'm gonna roll these up. That looks like roadkill. Oh my god. Oh, it's so wet. <gasps> ah -ha! Oh, that's so thick. Wrap these up in plastic wrap. There's my second baby right here. Oh, stuck to the counter. Oh, so the crepe fell off, but... Ah, roll it back on. Ah, there we go. Very nice. Well, there they are. Oh, my... Oh, my three beef wellington. Now I need to put these in the fridge for five minutes. And then when I come back, we'll be finally ready to put these in the oven. Alright, now it's time to prep my baking tray, get my wellingtons out of the fridge, put them in a little egg wash. Very festive. Ah! Okay, we need to make an egg wash, one egg yolk, and a tablespoon of whole milk. That's just a little trick. Actually, oh yeah, let me just... No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. No, 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 I meant to... Oh, I meant to do the other... No. Oh, What did I mean to do? Just the yolk. Oh, It's getting an egg all over the floor. It's the easiest part of the whole thing. What a f***ing nightmare. This kitchen needs to be f***ing. Quarantine. That's good. Oh, let's get these beef wellingtons out of the fridge. Remove the plastic wrap. Lay wellington seam side down. Oh, oh no. Oh, this thing isn't big enough. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, the biggest one is last. Ugh. Oh no, they're stuck. One big happy beef wellington family. Base the top of the puff pastry with the egg wash. But this brush just to do this. Oh, oh, come on. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, God, it's done. Bake for approximately 25 to 30 minutes or until the internal temperature of the steak reaches 125 degrees or to whatever temperature you prefer your steak. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow, my beef wellingtons are in the oven. And when I come back, hopefully they will be ready to eat. <laughs> Time to take these beef wellingtons out of the oven. Ah. Um, all right, let's see what my internal steak temperature is. My infant thermometer. Ah. <laughs> 160 degrees! It was supposed to be 125. Let's see what the other one is. 145, 149, 154, 158. Oh my god. See the other one? Oh, these are charred. They're done. Well done. I'm gonna let these things rest. Okay, my Wellingtons have taken a nice little nap. Now it's time for me to cut into them and taste it. Everything has fused together. Somewhat of a beef Siamese Wellington. Oh, puff pastry is raw! Let's see if this comes out. Come on. Oh, sh. <sighs> okay, here it is. Look at that. That's a raw dough! Let's cut into this. Oh, that's good. I'm having to saw it open. There it is. It looks a little f rare. Oh, God. Look at that. Ooh! A little piece of this. Totally for beef Wellington. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. All I've tasted is this f mushroom paste. This dough is raw. Thank God the meat at least is cooked okay. I mean, it's filet. Mignon, Pinot Noir, Mid-Size Car, Raw F***ing Da. Well, this has been kind of fun. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to get Totally Fourth out there, but for now, I'm just hoping to make you guys laugh a little bit. And if that's what I'm doing, then that's great. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Oh, who is that? Oh, Gordon Ramsay's here, and he has a f***ing gun. Bon Appetit.